So today I'm gonna to film exactly what I eat, drink, and the vitamins and supplements I have within my day. So I start my day with an espresso coffee, a hydration tablet, and sometimes AG1, but I'm out of stock at the moment. Okay, time to come to life. It's always good to get electrolyte hydration in, and even though I hydrate well during the day, I wake up pretty thirsty. It just soaks into my body and brings me to life. Okay, then after my coffee, I have two scoops of electrolyte go. And then I prep my smoothie so that it's ready for when I get back. So my recovery smoothie is 20 grams of protein. It's a science sport Rego Clear. It's also got carbs in it as well. And because today's a harder day, a tempo and heal day, I add a scoop of creatine powder as well. This then goes in the fridge so it's nice and cold and ready for when I get back from my run. We need to fuel hard and train hard, so before my harder session today, I have one toasted bagel with peanut butter and honey. Oh yeah, perfect. Didn't burn it for a change. I've got a massive peanut butter addiction. I love all peanut butter, but pip and nut is what's in my cupboard at the moment. Fresh peanut butter and honey bagels, honestly, one of my favorite things in the world to eat. I swear I'd run more just so I could eat more of these. Cheers. Mm, I swear I could have about 10. And then I have another cup of coffee before heading out for my run. Okay, so about to head out for my morning run and where on earth does time go in the morning? It just absolutely flies. Feeling like I need a, a bit of extra added motivation today. And what better way to do that than with new shoes day. So I'm running in a new pair of Boston 12s. Um, absolutely love the shoe. Um, such a good all-purpose shoe. And today um, I was wondering if I should do tempo or heels. So I'm doing a combination of the both. Probably around 8k tempos, um, Healy Country Loop. And then 8 times 30 seconds heels, followed by 8 times 15 seconds heels. He just finally answered my prayers and then made Adi Zero shorts that come with pockets. So as you can see, my phone will fit in the front there, which means that you can join me for the session as well. There's also a zip pocket at the back for keys or gels or whatever you want to put in there. And the last bit of fuel to get in the body before we go is Ketone IQ. So I have a shot of this. It makes you physically feel better, but it's also good mental fuel, um, which is key to pushing yourself in those sessions. Cool, let me drop the little ones off and let's get going. Thanks to the perfect sponsor of this video, Hello Fresh. Today I decided to make some fun food. It feels like we've been waiting for ages for summer to kick in here in the UK, but it's finally here and I decided to have a couple of mates around for a tasty showdown. Hello Fresh was the perfect solution for this occasion as it took the worry of recipe ingredients and quantities out of the equation. Burger party it was, the company was great and the food was loved by all of us. As we know, good nutrition and good performance running go hand in hand. Hello Fresh has allowed me to order the most tasty recipes that are family friendly. There are over 100 to choose from and I'm loving the variety as I don't get bored of cooking the same meals week in and week out. Given the fact I've been time poor recently, I've simplified my dinner routine and chosen the rapid recipes that take just 20 minutes. Here's a sneak peek into some of the dinners I've been having recently. It's convenient, gives you peace of mind, reliable, and just all round quality. Pick a HelloFresh recipe, snap out of that comfort zone, and cook something yummy-licious. Scan the QR code on screen now for 60% off your first box, plus free dessert for life. Yes, we work hard, play hard, and give your body the fuel that it deserves. Choose meals that are convenient to you and fit well into your lifestyle. I personally look for higher protein recipes that are quick, easy, and nutritious. No, no, no to McDonald's today. I probably haven't had McDonald's for about a year, but that doesn't mean I don't love the smell. Mm, whenever I run past it, I take a big sniff in and pretend I have a Big Mac to fuel me for my session. Oh my days. Oh, the sport humbles you, that's for sure. Woo! Tough work today. Anyways, another solid session in the bank at least. Time to head home and get some fuel in the body. Protein smoothie. Let's go. Okay, just got home from my run. It's half past 10 already. Uh, before I even update my Strava, the first thing I do, get that recovery protein smoothie in.
Let's get it in the body and let the recovery process begin. I aim to have a thousand milligrams of vitamin C a day. Okay, the protein smoothie is in and the recovery process has begun, but I just wanna speak through some of the vitamins and supplements I take throughout the day. So this is the Naked Pharmacy. Um, and when it comes to vitamins and supplements, what I look for is more natural, the more natural, the better. I know Naked Pharmacy, it's pretty much really well known for its naturalness. Um, they work super well for me. And uh, if you're looking to get some yourself, I do have a discount code for, for the Naked Pharmacy, which I'll put in the description below. Okay, so first up, vitamin D. My only ever stress reaction was due to lack of vitamin D. And um, yeah, in this British summer we're having, the sun hasn't been shining too much, so uh, take one of those a day. Um, and then turmeric, really big benefits to, to turmeric and boosting the immune system, which brings me on to the next one, Immune Hero. Um, so just really trying to keep that immune system strong. My little ones pretty much bring back a bug every week, second week from nursery. Sometimes those nursery germs are even too strong, but the more we can stay clear of, of sickness and training, the more consistent we can be and the better results we can get. Um, and then gut love, as we know, um, these days, gut health is super important and more and more research is going into that. Um, so take one of those in the morning. Um, and then marine magnesium, so really good high quality magnesium. Uh, I take this in the evening, helps with recovery, helps to reduce transfer cramping and helps with better rest. Then apart from the Naked Pharmacy range, uh, I take an iron tablet once a day when I did a blood test a while back. Uh, we saw that I was lacking in iron. Um, vitamin B complex, science and sports BCAAs, and then omega-3. So I'm conscious it probably seems like quite a lot, but at the same time, we're training hard, we need to fuel hard, we need to stay on top of our nutrition and supplements in order to get the best performance out of our body. I quite like filming what I eat in a day because I get to come to different locations in the house, not just in, in my running cave. Um, but John, I'm about to share something with you that I've been wanting to share for a while. As you know, I've always been an open and, and honest book. And um, my purpose for putting myself out there and putting the stuff out there that I do is in order to help you learn from it, help you improve. Um, and, and that's why I do it. Um, but yeah, this has been, you know, weighing on my shoulders for quite a while. And I feel like I need to share this with you, not because I want to show off, um, but more so that if you've got bad habits yourself, um, it's never too late to change. You can kick them. So previously, um, I used to smoke um, for many, many years. So from the age of about 18 um, till 31, I'm currently 34. So I only stopped smoking three and a half years ago uh, when my first child was born. I probably smoked about 10 a day from 18 to 25. And then from 25 to 31, probably about three a day, it became routine. But if I do the maths, it's you know, on a conservative guess, it's over 30,000 cigarettes have gone through my body. Um, and, you know, at the time, I was convinced it didn't really affect my running too much. Um, and I was able to run a 224 marathon um, while still smoking. It's not something I'm proud of, but at the same time, you know, it's also not something I, I truly regret. When I was in university, where we were a group of 10 people, uh, 10 good mates, and we all smoked it, and that was what we did. So that sort of what I, that's what I started with uh, before my running days. And um, it's sort of, you know, I'm a, I'm a creature of habits. A lot of us runners are creature of habits and it became habit and, and routine. It's not like I really needed uh, the nicotine or, you know, wanted to do damage to my lungs. It was just like, I went for a run. After my run, I'd have a smoothie and a smoke. Then I'd have lunch. And then after lunchtime, I would have coffee and a smoke. And then in the afternoon, I'd go out for a smoke break with, with one of my friends. So it became sort of like, a release from running in a way, you know, like training can be intense, racing can be intense. And I felt that, you know, those seven minutes of each time I had a smoke was just like a bit of a, a release from the intensity of running. Obviously quite a bad habit. So yeah, when I spoke to uh, one of my, my mates who's a, a doctor as well, basically what he said is you should probably choose either smoking or running because smoking obviously puts uh, excess pressure on your lungs and doing intense training does as well. And that combination of putting so much pressure on your lungs is not a good thing, especially for the long term. Um, so thankfully I chose running. Um, but no, in all serious, you know, it could obviously come back to bite me one day. Um, who knows? Uh, it's only three and a half years since I stopped. And, you know, to be completely honest, um, sometimes after a full marathon send, like even recently in Manchester, you know, uh, as a bit of a release, I'd have like a pint and a cheeky cigarette. 
But having said that, I think I've definitely grown out the habits in a way that when I did have one, my lungs couldn't handle it anymore. I think my lungs have definitely adapted and it wasn't nice. I didn't enjoy it and I most likely won't anymore. But yeah, the reason why I'm sharing this is to, to let you know that's like, you know, I basically, you know, poisoned my body for 13 years, over 30,000 cigarettes and was still and still able to run sub 15, you know, 220 marathons. And um, it's never, ever, ever too late to stop. So we've all got our secrets and our bad habits. And, you know, I'd love to know what yours are, if, you, if you're willing to share them with me. I think the first step to kicking out of that bad habit is to sort of admit it and share it. And then from there, you acknowledge it and, and consciously work on, on it going forward to, in order to improve yourself. So whether it's drinking, eating, binge eating, a lot of stuff, you know, eating a lot of fast food, drugs, I don't know, whatever it is, you know, feel free if you want to share, put it in the comments. I'd love to know. I've admitted that I smoked for for 13 years. Um, and, you know, since stopping, I have obviously have been able to improve, which is great. Um, don't necessarily regret it at the time because I feel like it's a phase I had to go through to get to what I am now. Um, but yeah, I finally feel like it's off my chest and, and I've admitted it to you. And, you know, yeah, some, some funny stories is on the way to London Marathon, you know, you have this clear bags on your back um, so they can see what's in your bag. I would have a box of, of Marlboro Gold in there and um, straight after the marathon, you know, I'd go in and run like, I don't know, 2.35 or, or 2.30 and go and have a pint and a smoke. And, and I remember seeing a lot of runners' faces. They like just literally could not believe it. To me, it was normal. Um, but yeah, just goes to show how, how we all have our habits. Uh, but thankfully, one that I've been able to kick in and, and move on from there. Instead of drinking normal water throughout the day, I actually have flavored water. But what I do is I put a fifth of the glass flavored water and then four fifths normal water just so that it has a little bit of flavor to it. I probably have around five to six of these a day. Hydration is key. Then onto the third cup of coffee for the day before we smash work at the park. Okay, here's a look at my lunch for the day. So we got a white wrap, a whole wheat wrap, some tomatoes, some cucumber, biltong, tuna, cheese, and some hummus. So I sliced them in half because four seems better than two. And there's my tuna wraps, there's the biltong wrap, and that one on the left-hand side, that's the bonus wrap, peanut butter and honey. Post-lunch cup of coffee, I drink quite a lot of coffee in the day. This is cup number four, but it's decaf. Anything after 12 for me is decaf. Okay, so I've just got back from my second run for the day. Um, easy double today, just over 8K, so 30K for the day. And let me show you my Achilles heel, my weakness. Boom, have a look at this. So basically, I have three small bowls a day. So first variation, yogurt, grapes, and a little bit of raw oats. Second variation, yogurt, raw oats, peanut butter, a little bit of honey. And then to top it off for dessert, yogurt, granola, peanut butter, a little bit of honey. I'm doing pretty much 140K weeks. Fuel hard, train hard. I think it's part of the reason why I haven't been injured um, for a lot of years now. Okay, so here's a look at my dinner. Got some good carbs over here, um, roasted potatoes, some veggies over here, and greens, some ice cream beans, um, and then a good source of protein in the form of steak over there. Uh, so hello fresh meal this is. And I absolutely love my spicy chili sauce, so I'll put a bit of sriracha on top. And a cheeky bonus steak wrap for dessert post dinner treat time here's a look at what my treat cupboard looks like digestives hobnobs these white chocolate digestives are just dangerous some snickers over here some fruit pastels some smarties licorice all sorts for the win tonight and then just before bed i have a scoop of high potency magnesium and a teaspoon of wheatgrass, which is essentially a superfood. And that is pretty much what I consume in a day. I always try and think before a harder session, the night before and then the build up, more carbs, and then after the harder session, um, more protein. So have that mindset. Um, as far as it comes to, to drinking, um, you know what? I say everything in moderation. I'm the type of person that, if I know I can't have something, then I just want it. So occasionally, especially you know in the summer, some more festivities, uh, I'll have a couple of beers, um, but generally because I drink pretty fast, 
Um, I'm a big fan of, of Lucky Sense, so non-alcoholic beer, nothing wrong, tastes as good and you can still perform very well. And as far as my sweet tooth goes, I would say once a week I have one of these goos. I think this is the cheesecake one over here. Once again, if I have a zero tolerance approach, then I want something. So I just have little bits here and there. Tonight, I'm gonna have a few little pieces of, of licorice also. So hopefully you found this insightful and that's what I consume in a day. Let's go.